We begin our roundup of week 23 at the Stade Louis de, where Monaco and Lyon played out an entertaining draw on Sunday night. Johan Gorkuf denied by Daniel Sabasic before Dimitar Berbatov saw his header come back off the post. Well, Monaco thought they'd taken the lead through Jean Martinho, but the goal was correctly ruled out as it was an indirect free kick. It finished 0 0. Lyon remained a point clear at the top of the table, while Monaco are in fifth place. Well, Marseille are second after claiming an 11th consecutive home win. Evian Tonongaya, their latest victims at the Stade Velodrome. They were awarded a penalty as Dimitri Payet was brought down by Cedric Barbosa. So Andre Pierre Gignac with the chance to give Marseille a lead in the 49th minute. Now making absolutely no mistake for his 14th goal of the season. It finished at 1 0. Paris Saint-Germain lit up the Parc de Pass with a moment of magic against Rennes in the 29th minute. Some wonderful one-touch football finished off here in style by Ezekiel Levetsi. Finished a 1-0 at the Parc de Pass. Paris remain in third place. Con made it three wins on the bounce with a 1-0 victory at home to fourth place at Saint-Étienne. Julien Ferro with the game's only goal. A wonderful finish. And that coming after his three assists and a goal last week against Rennes. And Con out of the drop zone. Lorient and Montpellier played at a goalless draw at Le Moustoir on Saturday. An early chance here for Lorient's Rafael Guerrero. Fine stop from Geoffrey Jordan. Benjamin Jano also went close with this cheeky back heeled effort. But ultimately, neither side could find a way through on the synthetic pitch at Le Moustoir. Final score, nil nil. Gangon took the lead away to Bordeaux through the on fire Claudio Beauvieu. A wonderful finish for goal number 11 in Ligue 1 this season. However, Bordeaux rescued a point early in the second half. Maxime Punje firing in this effort in the 56th minute. One apiece at the start at Chaban del Mas. It also finished at 1 1 at La Beaujois, where Lille took an early lead away to Nantes on Saturday. Jonathan Delaplace firing them ahead in just the 14th minute after a clever ball from Kevin Kubemba. However, the Canaries rescued a deserved point in the 80th minute through Osvaldo Vizcarondo. 1-1 at the final score. And Toulouse claimed a vital win at home to an uninspired Rouse side at the stadium. Alexander Pesic with the game's only goal in the 43rd minute, heading over Johnny Placide, his fifth of the season. And Toulouse giving themselves a bit of breathing space at the bottom. Now, Riyad Boudabouz has a 100% record when it comes to taking penalties in Liga. He made it 15 out of 15 on Saturday with this cheeky Penenka to give Bastia the lead at Lens. However, Ahmed Kantari also converted from the penalty spot to rescue a draw for Lens. Finished at 1 1. Now, finally, it finished goalless between Mess and Nice at the stand at San Symphorian. Given and Dor going close for host mess from this corner. The snow beginning to fall there and it was really coming down by half time. The ground staff doing their best to make the pitch playable. But the conditions really were awful in the second half. Another half chance here for Ndor with 10 minutes of normal time remaining. It was impossible to play proper football. And it finished 0-0. So a measly 10 goals in Ligue 1 this weekend. That's the lowest total since back in 06-07. There were big wins for Paris Saint-Germain and Marseille at the top. While there were also big wins for Toulouse and Caen at the bottom. So Lyon remain at top of the pile. Just a point ahead of Marseille and Paris Saint-Germain. There's now a seven-point gap down to Saint-Étienne and Monaco in fourth and fifth. Well, Evian slip back into the relegation zone. They're in 18th position ahead of Lens and Metz. Can jump to 15th after claiming their third consecutive win. To lose a 14th while Gangon are 11th.
Now Saint-Étienne and Lens kick off at week 24 on Friday. On Saturday, Marseille travel to Rennes, while on Sunday, Monaco head to Gangor. But the big clash of the weekend sees the leaders Lyon host the champions at PSG on Sunday night.